Hello, I'm Patsy. If you've seen the National Theatre's Treasure Island, you might recognise me as Jim slash Jemima Hawkins. You're Jim Hawkins! Grandma would hate you if you were a pirate! We're in strange times, so I thought it might be fun to dress up like a pirate. Pirates had their own set of rules and code of conduct, their own lifestyle. There is no wrong or right way of dressing up as a pirate. So you can wear whatever you think your pirate would wear. Let your imaginations run wild in what your pirate would be like. I also want to remind everyone, or tell you if you didn't know this already, that women were also pirates back in the day. There were quite a few famous female pirates, which is sort of surprising. People don't usually think of pirates as female. But there were some ladies and some girls who sailed the seven seas. I first thought about what do we typically think about when we think of pirates and what they wear. And I instantly thought of stripy tops. If you don't have a stripy top, it doesn't really matter. A white t-shirt will do, or a black t-shirt. And somehow, I don't know why, I found me a hip flask because <gasps> Pirate's favourite drink was something called grog. Grog is made up of rum, water, lemon juice and sugar. Now for me, I'm not a huge fan of, of those ingredients, so I'm going to put some orange juice in this hip flask. I really wanted a pirate sword, so I'm sure you can find some cardboard somewhere in your house. I used a black felt tip to, to create an outline. I'm gonna cut it out. And then what I'm gonna do is wrap the blade in aluminium foil, if you can find that in your kitchen, and just color the rest of that, the handle in with the black felt tip. People are a big fan of using either tea towels or an old pillowcase, or maybe just some material that you found lounging around to either maybe fashion a belt. Oh, and we can use these maybe as a bandana around your head, perhaps. And so I've decided that my pirate is a fan of jewelry that she might have found in her plunders. Is that the right word? Shiny things. So I found me some beads and she's, a, she's partial to a ring or two. So I'm gonna cover my fingers in rings that I found in my bedroom. I have found these old eyeliner pencils in my bedroom. You might actually have some actual face paint, some black face paint. You could give yourself a, a moustache. I think I'm going to give myself a scar across my cheek. My pirate's been in a fight. So in Treasure Island, Long John Silver has a parrot called Captain Flint. This isn't me! This isn't me! I don't have a parrot, but I did find Again, there is no specific rules. This is how, how I want my pirate to be. I found some friends in my house. I found a little dog or a little Snoopy. I might attach him to my shoulder. They were amazing navigators and they could use the sun or they could use the stars to help them navigate. There's a great scene in Treasure Island in our production where you see Long John Silver teach Jim Hawkins how to read the stars, which is beautiful. I thought maybe they would have a telescope. So I found some paper or some card and and you can, you can see you guys. Can you see my eye? Very close. What pirates wore were basically things that they found in their adventures. So if you go into your wardrobe and please ask for permission, your parents' wardrobe or your siblings' wardrobe, you can create a very fun, a surprising costume for yourself. I think we have all of the ingredients that I found in my own home. I'm sure you'll find better and more exciting things. But I'm gonna go away now for a moment and put it all together. <laughs> Come a bit closer, you can see my weapon of choice. It's my sword, my trusty sword. I've got all my rings that I've plundered. I've had time to look that up in dictionary, that is the correct word. 
I've got my bandana on to protect me from the sun. I've got Snoopy as my sidekick attached to my shoulder. And of course, I have my trusty telescope and a much needed hip flask full of orange juice. There is only one final ingredient you need to become a fully fledged pirate. And that is what we call, excuse me. And that is what we call pirate attitude. I can give you two little pieces of advice and that is to call everyone matey. Matey will be your favorite word. And most importantly is to work on your R. If you can do that, you're golden. Awesome.